the Fertile Crescent, coined by James Henry Breston. This term describes the arc-shaped, agriculturally rich region spanning the Nile Valley, Mesopotamia, and the Levant. There is no primary text that shows the ancient Egyptian had a concept of fertility. This concept was expressed through the male aspect of virility. This is why we often see Egyptian deities as in the phallic, pharaoh. While we commonly refer to Egyptian kings as pharaohs, the term derives from the Egyptian per aar, meaning great house, initially referring to the palace rather than the king himself. Over time, it became a royal title, but Egyptians did not use pharaoh as we understand it today. Dynasty. Ancient Egyptians did not classify their rulers into dynasties as we do. The concept of organizing kings into dynastic periods was introduced by the historian Manetho in the 3rd century BCE and later by modern Egyptologists. Mat as justice, Egyptians deeply valued Mat a concept encompassing order, balance, and harmony. Modern scholars sometimes equated it with justice, though its full meaning extends beyond this narrower interpretation, including cosmic order and truth. The afterlife is heaven or hell. Egyptians had complex beliefs about the afterlife, which included the field of reeds, the dat, and judgment by Osiris. However, they did not frame the afterlife in binary terms of heaven and hell, as later religious traditions would. Egyptologists say Egypt means the black land because of the black silk. There is no primary text that shows Egyptians named their land after the silk. There is also no indication that the term Kemet indicates land, the Book of the Dead. Known as the Book of Coming Forth by day in ancient Egypt, it was not called the Book of the Dead by Egyptians, nor was it a single fixed text. It was a collection of spells and prayers tailored individually for the deceased. What we know as Egypt today was founded in what is called Egyptian Nubia. The first gnome of Egypt was called Taseti, but Taseti existed before the foundation of both Egypt as the homeland of the Nubian people. The ancient Egyptians used Bitimem for practical and theological purposes in burial. One theological reason was to make the deceased appear black, like the god Osiris, who was called Kemi, the black one. Ancient Egypt as a unified civilization. Modern Egyptology often discusses Egypt as a single civilization, but Egyptians saw themselves as people of individual gnomes, provinces, united under a king. They didn't view their culture as ancient or civilizational as we categorize it today. What we learn in Egyptological secondary sources is nothing like how the ancient Egyptians viewed themselves. For more information about ancient Egypt from primary sources, subscribe to Smash Rockwell's channel. Thank you.